Yes, my people, what's going on? My name is Kizo 101, giving you the life lessons you never knew you deserved or needed. Yes, baby. Guys, our family has grown. Our family is growing. We are now currently sitting at 136 subscribers, baby. Yes, sir. Round of applause, round of applause. Guys, I am aesthetic. I love seeing us grow. I love seeing the family grow. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome to Unburdened. Welcome back to Unburdened. Unburdened is my own public personal diary that I discuss some of my experiences and opinions with you guys. And then we just have fun. So with that being said, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because it's like paradise. like paradise it's like paradise do you got dividends key you won't see a difference key nobody rhyme like me i feel like big she lost the faith in me i got the soul in me i'm in my own damn league i'm in my own damn oh oh, oh. Damn, never mind uh, what you do yes my people welcome back you're still here with your favorite host with the most the tall the dark and the handsome the darker the berry the sweeter the juice you already know baby you already know i'm loving it guys talking about black excellence shout out to Botswana sprinter for breaking the world record the 300 meter world record love it we love to see black men excelling we love to see black men prospering guys i love to see this Ish. guys i don't know if you guys have been on social media of recent but there's this new dance guys uh of chualabami you know Chualaba, da, 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 da. Hey. guys please please if you have the tutorial to that dance please teach me I've been practicing this now. It's four days now. Four days, five days, somewhere there. I've been trying to master this dance. Oh. Guys, that dance is stressing my life. I am stressed. I am frustrated. I don't know. Eh? If someone can just share a tutorial for us so that we jump on the trend also. Eh? Even me, I want to say, Leo, le tu Guys, please, please. If you are looking at this, if you see this video and you know how to do the dance, please, we beg. I'll try and post um, the the what? I'll try and post one 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 of the videos of the Chalabami here. Please, guys, help help the boys. I'll let to Chalabam. Away, please, please do a tutorial, guys. Help the boy, help the boy jump on the trend. Ah, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, now we get into today's fun fact. Today's fun fact reads as follows. Let me find it. Um, Nowadays, the average high school kid today has the same anxiety level as the average psychiatric patient in the early 1950s. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. But judging with the pressures that we get these days, yeah, hey, hey, it's wild. I feel like in the olden days, the only pressure you would get is to provide, like to have a stable family, to have food on the table. You know, like societal pressures were not as much you get. Nowadays, we are dealing with not just uh, your peers succeeding and you feeling like you're in one place, but also the fake success that people put out there. You understand some people are not exactly doing as well as they put out but hey they will just go ahead and put it out there or they're succeeding so i i know our parents i know personally my parents will say we have it easy they will say oh you 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 you, you are having it easy me i used to study with a can with a candle light you know we are not waiting for electricity we light candle and then we read there we used to walk to school all of those things yeah, so they will say their life was a bit harder than ours. Mara, nowadays I feel like, hey, it's too much, guys. There's a lot of depression going around. There's a lot of anxiety going around. These days, everyone, they are now, guys, there are different types of anxiety. Social anxiety, uh, 
test anxiety anxiety on it hey guys there's a lot of anxieties these days you get so i feel like that also can affect someone's psyche that's just me that's just me on this matter i don't know i don't know maybe the oldies the those uh, 80s kids 80s babies they will tell us how they how what they feel about this yeah marami i feel like hey, it's somehow true it's somehow true but a psychiatric patient though that's insane that's crazy As all of these guys is from facts, facts app it's not from me it's from facts app you can download it they share some really interesting facts if you are someone who's interested in fun facts if you are someone who's interested in fun facts guys yes moving right along right moving right along there's this topic that has been itching me i don't know whether this weekend was a different weekend or it was just me who was stumbling upon things that they were not supposed to be stumbling upon guys i was stumbling upon some very very uh shaky things shaky things but before i get into the shaky things i was stumbling upon right before i get into the shaky things i was stumbling upon so last week's topic we were talking about being in a men's world right and then one of the points i highlighted was the point of girlfriend allowance right so i'd like i'd like to read some of the feedback or some of the comments i've been getting uh with regard to our our nice as our nice topic of um yes our nice topic of girlfriend allowance right so the first guy comments and he's like never never that's that's just simping period my g that's just simping right and then he's like her father never eh? her father never ha- ne- i think he meant gave yeah her father never gave her no allowance who are you it's indirectly buying the cat i it's indirectly buying the cat that was his opinion on this topic never bro you are a simp you are a simp for giving her girlfriend allowance her father never gave it to her who are you who are you mate right i i uh so i responded and i'm like hey if you don't give it she's going to get it somewhere else and then he's like look at it this way Yes as a man you should provide but provide for someone you are most likely to wife up if you give if you give her wife treatment before she is even your wife she has nothing to work for to retain the relationship since a man since as a man you hold up the key to the relationship and she holds up the key to sex hey aid she further says he further continues to says I'm not saying she doesn't deserve nice things, gifts, trips, etc here and there. Gifts and all, but the moment you give her the perception that you can give her money at her will for nothing, she's most likely to be attracted to the money more than she's most likely to be attracted to you as a person. We all know she can easily find a guy who can give her more money at some point. My biggest mistake this year which i never did before is to try and impress a girl with cash and things it doesn't work at all these girls don't even know what they want you will always lose basically at the end trying to be a nice guy that's her op- that's his opinion right that's his opinion yo guys and then um uh, another one another one yo niggas are going niggas are going niggas are fired up niggas are fired up on this topic and our one comments hell no stop putting these women on a pedestal an allowance is ridiculous she's a woman huh? she she as a woman should seek to uplift and contribute to the growth of the relationship and the man and not look to get reimbursed for those contributions if your so called companion girlfriend wife is looking to get allowance based on her looks then you have nothing but an a and then three dots it's going down it's going down it's going down uh then one of my boys replied hey mjita it's ah huh? majita is single out there because of that they take you because you don't have money they take you even when you have money hey this girlfriend allowance thing guys It's a thing. 
you know me i i say i said right i don't like it i don't like it even when i was talking with jonathan about it right jonathan had never heard about something called girlfriend allowance he was like yo there's such a thing as girlfriend allowance you get but i don't like it as much but we just have to accept it. it's a thing it's a thing you get lucky enough my companion does not require girlfriend allowance she's not about that girlfriend allowance thing mara there are certain ladies out there who who say yo me i want girlfriend allowance that's one of their requirements or you must provide girlfriend allowance otherwise they'll go and get it somewhere then what then what are you going to let it slide yeah hey, it's lit guys uh talking about uh this whole thing right As I said, I stumbled upon a few facts uh during the course of 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 this week, right? Especially in the weekend. I don't know. I don't know whether it's because of the video I posted and the algorithm changed. But during the course of the weekend, uh the first one says, right? The first one says, women marry who they can. Men marry who they want. What's your take on that? Women marry who they can and men marry who they want. Yo I I when I saw this right I clicked the comment section I clicked the comment section and then one of the comments was saying let me try and remember one of the comments was saying men sleep with who they can but women sleep with who they want Yo This is the world we live in right now this is the world we are in right now Women marry who they can but men marry who they want and one of the comments was women sleep with who they want and men sleep with who they can yo yo cuz me guys i i think that's why we have a lot of uh, divorce rates like this if you're not marrying who you want then what are you doing if you are marrying me just uh, because it's you are now reaching 30 and you must have a kid and you must be married and you must have a family ay man ay man it's not the one we are just going to frustrate each other you're going to frustrate me i'm going to frustrate you and we're not just not going to go anywhere it's best you marry me cuz you're like yo that nigga is a nigga that's my man that's my knight in shining armor right there that's my everything that's who i want to live this life thing with this is the person who when i wake up i will not say yo yeah i me pa it's not make sure You have to wake up and say this is my daughter. This is my jita. This is my provider right here. Huh? So this thing of uh, they can they want it must all be want for both sides for it to work. I don't know. It's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Divorce rates are raising. They're going up and we don't know why. Maybe this is the reason. Maybe this is the reason. We don't know. I don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think about this this statement please drop it in the comment section women marry who they can men marry who they want drop it in the comment section what you think about this comment all right all right let's move it along let's move it along so that we get into today's topic right the second statement says ladies want eh ladies what can you let me just put it as ladies and me, and gentlemen right both both genders let me just not put it as ladies but the actual statement said ladies but i want to put it as ladies and gentlemen right ladies or gentlemen not and gentlemen ladies or gentlemen right ladies or gentlemen what can you give your husband in this case husband or wife husband that you have not given to another man before or another woman before okay let me just read the statement as it is first right ladies What can you give your future husband that you have not given to another man before? This was posted in a group, right? This was posted in one of the groups that I'm in. It's a friendship group, a tight knit circle of my uh very very nice friends. Yes, they're very very nice. I love them. Shout out to you guys. If you if you see this, you already know I got met love for you guys, right? So it was posted in there. Me personally I was waiting for the ladies to give an answer. Right? I waited, I waited, I waited. And then another one re- responded, like one lady responded and it was like sex. No, not sex, sorry. He said 
money, family, and Anna. I think there were four. I forgot. I forgot them. I forgot them. That's what I said. That that was the response. Ah, uh, ah, cool. That's what. For me, right? For me personally, for me, even uh, specifically, right? Specifically, I was like, yo, this question stressed me out. This question, when I saw it, I was very stressed. You know, I kept, I was wondering, yo, what can I give to my wife that I have not given to another person? Hey, let's see here. What, what can you give to your future husband that you have not given to another man? When I had this question, honest opinion, I was like, this is a ridiculous question. Who in their right frame of mind is asking such questions? What do you mean? What are you going to give to your future husband that you have not given to Anna? Why should you give anything, first of all? Why are you giving things? Why is it a transaction? Why is it that when we're in a relationship, we are expected to give something? What are you giving? That's not what a relationship is. It's not a butter trade. It's not a butter system. You give me, you get. No. That's not what a relationship is. A relationship is being someone's companion. This thing of saying, hey, we must get something from relationships or we must get, hey, my guy, if you want that, go find someone who's transactional like that. Me, I'm not that guy. I am not that guy who's transactional. What must I give you? The only thing, even the person who's saying, who's wondering this, if you are in, like you are my girlfriend, right? Uh, for example, if my better half is wondering this question, uh, what can I give to my future husband that I have not given to any nigga? What? What do you think? What do you think you can necessarily offer me that you have not given to another man? That's worthwhile even. What? You're going to give me money? I don't want your money. I, I generally do not want your money. You're, even if you tell me you're giving me 2000 a week, yeah, you're giving me 2000 a week, I get to survive. I can still get someone else to do that for me. Give me 2000 a week. You're going to give me what? Virginity? Oh, me, I'm a virgin. I'll give you the virgin. You give me that, I chop once. It's not virginity anymore. It's, what? Guys, I feel like in relationships, the only, the only thing you can generally offer is companionship. That's, that's just me, right? The ability to feel my pain when I'm in pain. The ability to go through emotions with me. When I'm down, you should be able to uplift me. My strengths should be your weaknesses. And your weaknesses should be my strengths. We should go through this life thing together, holding each other, build each other. That's the only thing you can generally offer me. Okay, let's say, let's say, right? Let's say, like that guy was saying, if you give her a wife status before she's actually the wife, right? What if the thing you're holding back is the thing that I want in order for me to be your soulmate? And I'm your actual soulmate, but you're withholding the things that I want from you. All in the name of, hey, I'm waiting to give it to my, to my husband. Then what? Me, when I saw the question, I was just like, this is, this, this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. What's, there's nothing, there's nothing in this world that you can offer me. That's, if you're not offering me companionship, then I, this is a business trade. You give me, I give you. You give, it's like friendship, right? Someone will say, hey, what are you getting out of that friendship? What must you get out of that friendship? What must you get out of that friendship? The only thing you're going to get out of that friendship is to have someone you know you can depend on. Someone who's in your corner. Someone who's going to always be in your corner. Someone who's going to want and wish something better for you than what you already have. Not you tell me, hey, I should, uh, my friends should be able to pay for my, for my trips. My, pens, my friends should be able to... Hey, my guy, this is not a transaction. This, this is not business. If you give, you take, you give, you take. I no, 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 no. I should do things from the goodness of my heart. I should do things because I think this, this will be beneficial to you. I think this will help you grow as a person. Those are things you get from these relationships. <laughs> Me, I, I, I don't know, guys. This is just my opinion. 
this is just me speaking right i personally was like no man no 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 as my wife what do you think you're going to give me those married guys those guys who are happily married what what are they doing it's just companionship man the ability guys i was telling i was i was telling uh the same space i was like when we were in shanghai right when we were in shanghai my hand was like yo i don't feel so good and the fact that i was far, i was very stressed i was like yo guys i need to go back they were like ah oh, now nah, let's try and stay one more day and then we go tomorrow i told them niggas one thing is for sure i am going i need to go see my hand my hand is not well and i was genuinely stressed you know i was genuinely stressed cuz yo guys eh hey, hey, eh hey, hey. we must i must be there for me that's what a relationship is when you're going through something i must i must feel what you're going through i must be your companion that's the only thing i feel like you can offer your future husband anyway as i said that's just my opinion right anyway ladies and gentlemen now let's get into today's agenda today's agenda is the pressures of social media the pressures of social media this thing that increasing our anxiety our depression that one those things that we see on the media as it turns out i just saw this a few minutes before i got onto this podcast i have this tradition of 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 watching meg g releases his episodes on monday so i watch them tuesday morning right just before i i jump on this right so before i jump on this i was watching him and apparently apparently zari from young rich and famous is owing some people money apparently she's not as rich as she seems last week it was ghost ruby uh on buying porsches apparently now she bought he bought sima a porsche marasima doesn't have a car now you see is it fake or is it real i also saw working mama like yeah dog best believe ghost ruby can buy those things you understand he can buy those things on a daily like today this week is driving this next week is driving that next. then there was also the one of sima is it true or is it fake we don't know we don't know that's why i'm saying guys the pressures of social media are some things that we as a generation need to address you know it come on it must think it must think yeah so let's get into question number 1 question number 1 reads as follows what role do you think social media plays in an academic success or failure of students yo that's where we are starting What role do you think social media plays in academic success or failure of students? Academic. First one, right? First one in my opinion will be it takes up majority of your time. Not that if you're not on social media you will not be doing other things, right? But uh, we tend to spend more time on social media looking at things that are not really constructive like that. right we we'll be looking at bosan buji they twerking we we'll be looking at who got the recent bbl it generally takes majority of your time guys i was never a tiktok fan i was n- i hated tiktok i never used to understand tiktok i think one of the reasons was cuz the first like one of the first one of the jobs i got at right, one of the jobs i got was on tiktok so the first time i jumped on tiktok was for work right and my algorithm was mostly based on work so i never understood what the actual fuss was about tiktok so what's going on here what am i what what am i looking at so every time i was on tiktok it was for work so i never liked tiktok right until i went home and the algorithm i was getting was the one from home it was brand new it was the one that's showing my interest like things i like so as they scrolling i was like hoof hoof guys i stayed on that thing from 3 o'clock until 5 i was just on tiktok i never even moved i was just going getting a drink coming back sit down tiktok i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling that was it that right there was it 
You see, all that time, I would have used it for something very productive. But I was busy. TikTok, 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 TikTok. I even forgot the reason why I actually decided to open TikTok that day. Because the reason I decided to open TikTok, I was like, hmm, maybe I can post some of the, the shots I take uh, on, onto my TikTok and try and see if it will increase engagement. Right? I was like, maybe it will increase engagement, so let me try and... Mara, you spend a whole large amount doing things that you're not intended to do. You're just looking for short content, short content. And it's very short and it's very entertaining. Very entertaining. So I think time is the first one. It's very time consuming. Uh, the second one is it gives a false narrative to a lot of things. It gives a false narrative to a very huge amount of things. First of all, the lifestyle, right? Right now, everyone wants, when I grow up, I want to buy a Porsche. I want to do what? I want to do what? You don't have an idea how to get there, but you know what you want. You want, oh, I want a lavish lifestyle. I want to post. I want to do what? I want to do what? I want to do what? People end up, uh, what? Dropping out of school. You drop out of school to go and chase that dream that you don't know how that other person got it. You jump, you are saying, me, I'm going to be a Forex trader. You don't even know the first thing about Forex. You drop out of school. You're not, you're not in academia. You're not in academics anymore. You are gone. You are just there. The markets are chopping you, chopping you, chopping you. As they chop you, now you go and be a scammer. Now you go and be a scammer. Third one, they put pressure. They put a lot of pressure, especially the Forex guys and those guys uh, into Bitcoin and all of those stuffs. Because in the moment, right? Did I say stuffs? Jesus Christ. English, stuff, 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 and all those stuff. I think that was the sentence. I think. <laughs> but yes, uh, social media puts pressure because if you're in academics and someone is doing forex, that person could be your classmate and you see how he's prospering in their forex journey. But you are still stuck into school trying to get degrees and all of that. While there's someone who's living your dream in a just in the night that person just woke up and decided i'm quitting school i'm done with school and they're prospering you that time you are getting homework that time they are telling you hey you are failing that time they are telling you you must work hard that person overnight is living your dream posting cards on social media you get demotivated you're like hey do i really need this cool thing like that so that's how i feel I feel like those three things, false narrative, pressure, and uh, what was the first one? Time consuming. Yes, time consuming. All right, let's move it on. Let's move it on. Uh, question number two. How do you balance your use of social media and academic responsibilities? I have time. I have time for social media. I have time to go on to go and focus on my academics. Recently, I found I found that uh, my biggest social media that I use a lot is YouTube, and I don't really need to look at what what is going on. You understand? If it's a podcast, I just play the podcast and do my academics. It will be saying something. It's just like playing white noise to study. You see, just they will be having that conversation. I concentrate. I do whatever it is I have to do. I put. That's why I have a desktop. Laptop this side, desktop this side. Work on the desktop. Let let the noise, that thing just make noise there. Because sometimes concentrating in absolute silence is, is very hard. My mind starts, starts running. I start getting a lot of things to think about. But when there's a bit of noise, white noise playing, hey, who am I to complain? Can't really complain about that. So that's how I try and balance it. I have time to go on social media. When I wake up, mm, scroll on Instagram, scroll on Facebook, scroll on uh, WhatsApp. Hey, I'm done. I go, YouTube, study. Academic responsibilities need to be met. Right? In the evening, before I sleep, go on Instagram, go on Facebook. Mm. In between breaks, there where I'm studying, eh, little Instagram here, little Facebook here. Continue my life. Continue my life, right? 
I don't even need to stay long because all of those I just want to see. Oh, nice picture. Nice picture. Nice picture. And I'm a I'm a random liker. Like as long as you're in my timeline, I'm just going to like. I like. I'm a liker. I'm a liker. You get. So there's that. There's that aspect. So for me, morning, evening, in between studies, that's how I go on social media. That's a and good thing in China, TikTok doesn't work. So I don't have something to consume my time like that. Because on Instagram, I only follow somewhere around eight hundred or so, eight four hundred people, somewhere there, somewhere there. It's not a large number, and some of them are just ghost accounts at this at this point. They're not even working anymore. Some have even deleted their pictures. Some don't post. So I don't spend that much time because after three, four scrolls, ah, it's done. Even on Facebook, after two, three scrolls, ah, it's done. There's nothing new I'm going to see there. You get. So what mostly takes my time is YouTube and YouTube. I just put on the side and work as it does what it does. As it does what it does. Yeah. All right. What are the top four social media apps? As I said. Uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, those ones, those ones, those ones. But when I went home, yo, I finally discovered TikTok, guys. Yo, TikTok is fun. People must not lie to you. And yo, TikTok is fun, guys. That thing is nice. It is. It is nice. Nice. Absolutely amazing. I'm telling you. That's why I saw this guy. Is it Primo or something? Yeah, Primo something. Um, hmm. More a bad content creator, and it has launched a lot of millionaires too. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Uh, then we play one must go. This is the question of the week. Question of the week. One must go. Uh, TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. One must go. Uh, for me, right? WhatsApp is where I communicate with my family. That's where I communicate with my family. So hey, it can't go. I'd feel like I'll just say Facebook, guys. For me, I'll just say Facebook. I think for me, if I was home, yeah, Facebook would make sense. Facebook would make a lot of sense. But here it doesn't make a lot of sense because there's a lot that happens at home that people at home know, and that's one of the reasons I I'm still on Facebook to keep up with what's going on at home. So there will be a lot that happens at home, and instead of someone giving you the full context, they just give you snippets. You see, like small small things, they just comment, "Hey, boo," like the closing of Shelly Brown. Right? It took a long time for me to realize what was going on. Someone was like, "Oh." So they are taking shit. Now where will we party? Hey, where will you party? What is that? Go party at Shelly Brown. Must go party at Kasikota. Go party what what? Suddenly, hey, now Maseru, uh, what is it? Cuban Links is doing what what? I'm just there. I'm like, yo, what is going on? What is happening? What is this? You get so there's there's a lot, guys. There's. <sighs> There's a lot. There's a lot going on. Like now with the what is this, Konga? When I saw it on Facebook, someone was like, "Yo, finally it's out of Soweto." Hibo, it's out of Soweto or it's completely closed? What is going on? Uh, you never know. You never know until you go and after like seven, eight times, you get the full story. You get the full story. So for me, Facebook. I, in as much as I like you, you can just search uh, it. Bye bye, bye bye. It's not that deep. It's never that deep. It's never that deep. Alright. Hey, you see these questions? These questions are going to make me feel like uh, I'm a female hater, and I'm really not. Is it easier for females to get following on social media platforms? Me, I think it is. I I generally think it is. It's very easy. Ah, uh, all you need is that small pose. With, you know, there's that one where they stand and then one leg is behind the other, and then they face like they're facing this way. And then you see that one. You see that one. Oh, oh, oh. Go wherever you see that that post. Go look at the the amount of likes. 
It's probably the most liked video, the most liked picture out of all the pictures. And to be fair, to be fair, it's us the niggas who like it. It's us the niggas who go and follow it. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. Right? You can do the same thing that Han does. Mara, you will never succeed, guys. Mm -mm. Also, I feel like Hans really support one another. For some reason, I feel like they really, really, really back each other up. They might not like each other or they might be following each other for malicious intent. But I feel like they really, really, you know, they're the ones who subscribe, they're the ones who follow, they're the ones who do what. I feel like they rally behind. You get, if you see most of these vlogs, I think also it's the content. Also it's the content. Someone, oh, skin skincare routine, or oh, how to cook this, or oh, uh, went for a jog, or oh, keep fit, or oh, those things. Yo, uh, they will subscribe. They will subscribe and they will follow. And for them, it's therapeutic. Therapeutic work, that is. You get. So, hey, guys, for me, yeah, I, I think like it's, it's 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 easier for them. It's easier. Uh, does this content encourage you to be a better version of yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it gives me a purpose. Seeing, it's hard. I'm, I'm not going to say it's easy. There was a time where I almost followed majority and followed majority of my friends. Because they were doing so well and I was like, yo, yo, me, I'm stagnant. Like, life is not moving. Niggas are getting engaged. Niggas are buying houses. Niggas are buying cars. Niggas are, yo, they have this life thing figured out. You get, they have this life thing figured out. And unfortunately, your boy is still trying. You know, you're picking here, you're picking there, you're combining. PhD is just slapping the hell out of me. Wabah! I'm trying to get up. Wabba. I'm trying. Wabba. You get. It gets frustrating. You're like, hi, bro. Can't tell me when it's my turn. When am I going to get the opportunity to win? When am I going to get my chance to win? And eventually it will come. You get. I, it, it's still uh, a process. You know, learning to acknowledge and learning to be a lot more softer to myself than I normally am. You get, I need to learn how to be a bit more kind to what I say to myself than I normally am or normally do, right? Because, hey, guys, there's pressure out there. The things I see my, my niggas doing, I'm just like, yo, 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 only if, only if I could make it as far. Only if this could be me right now. By the way, working at the Lord's Pace, I trust that there's a plan. There's a plan. There's a revolving something that's in store for me. I just have to be patient and work towards it, you know, and not be afraid to take each chapter as it comes. You know, I should not be afraid to take up new challenges because that challenge might just be the one that I have been waiting for. I should not be afraid to start afresh. If you start, you're opening new doors. If you start, you recorrect or correct some of the things that you did wrong before so yeah i feel like uh somehow somewhere the content i see on social media does it gives me hope it gives me perspective it gives me something to focus on something to work towards yeah so yeah yeah, yeah somehow somewhere somehow somewhere yeah it does give me hope anyway anyhow we are past our mark. You already know. You already know. It's that time where I get to say goodbye to you guys. It's been lovely. It's been neat. It's been the best. You already know. It's been me, your favorite host with the most. Kizo 101, giving you the life lessons you never knew you deserved. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. It's the tall, the dark, and the handsome. We are sad. We are here. Woo-wee. It's like paradise.